Good job. Le Président. Veuillez vous asseoir. Please be seated. The court is now back in session. Council for Nuanchia, you may now proceed. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. Um, uh, if I'm allowed, I would like uh, to take ten minutes to uh, uh, make a request to your trial chamber. Um, I'll just continue unless. You Et object je to me raising this particular issue que right now. Une I am, que je ce point. Um, wanted to raise this this morning, je en ce matin, this issue, uh, but I uh, decided to wait till now in order to give à cet you, your honours, uh, and the prosecution as well, the opportunity to raise it uh, yourselves. Laisser, uh, but um, la um, I'll do it now. Le soin de um, as I do, everyone has stayed quiet so far, I'll, I'll, I'll feel silence, forced to raise it now. And that is, of course, the note written by the international co-investigating judge, Caspar uh, Ansermet, on uh, Wednesday last week. Um, uh, we read dernier. this note, uh, suitably called a note on egregious dysfunctions within the ECC, with uh, both uh, surprise Nous avons lu and a strong uh, déjà vu feeling. Non seulement une uh, surprise, mais aussi un certain sentiment surprised, de first of all, because of the blatant nature of the interference described par, in the note uh, le flagrant de uh, by qui est Cambodian court officials par des in uh, uh, the, the work of the international Cambodian investigating judge. Et leur, leur blatant and unashamed, I would say. International. Et ce, and I had a strong feeling of déjà vu aussi un because that note déjà vu very eloquent note, Car cette note uh, confirmed très what, we had, uh, what we have consistently said fait que and ce written que nous avons uh, since the royal government, government of Cambodia first prevent, prevented the hearing of the King Father, Lord Donsonet and the six insider witnesses du roi uh, prevented them from testifying in this particular case, in case 002, during the ju judicial investigation. Du 002. That uh, note La note du juge reads as a 14-page litany Il of uh, 10 de patently de dubious and possibly even criminal incidents incident which occurred at this court. Presque uh, this note ont eu lieu à ce reads as La note a closing order, in a way, comme produced by the international uh, co-investigating judge. Le juge international. Uh, it is an indictment, in that sense, of this court et as a dysfunctional institution. That's the way he describes it. Le in comme October 2011, um, en uh, we wrote in an appeal nous against your decision not to investigate dans un appel de votre uh, interference de ne pas in this case. We wrote that it was unknown at the time uh, to what extent the integrity of uh, this case, pas. case number two, and its file point had been compromised by less overt forms of obstruction by the government des formes d'obstruction plus ou moins ouvertes as an investigation into this interference has not taken place yet we still don't know the exact extent cette possible ingérence nous ne connaissons toujours pas but we do know that without this government interference in our case and in our case file this file would now contain potentially exculpatory statements of at least the King Father, Royal Antirnuk, Heng Samrin, Chia Sim, and four other Chia insiders, witnesses. But uh, we know now, we have uh, very strong evidence described by the international investigating judge, très robuste, presented in his note le juge that Cambodian Il a court officials go to extreme lengths to avoid an outcome that would displease the government. Pour de déplaire au gouvernement. And no organ in this court is immune uh, from this uh, disease. Personne the international ici, investigating judge uh, lists all of the maladie. organs involved Cela touche in this interference. First of all, the co-investigating judge, the national co-investigating judge, Yu the president of the pre-trial chamber, Yubunleng, President Prak Kim Sun, Prak Kim Sun, le Tony Kran, Greffiers, la chambre CMS staff, Wayso Tony staff, Kran, les drivers, le personnel de la section administrative, les interprètes, and also the Ministry of Interior. Et le ministère de l'Intérieur, 
des chauffeurs, etc. They are all Ainsi que le ministère de l'Intérieur, tous still a crime sont complices under de ce qui est considéré comme un crime en vertu du Code pénal cambodgien. Ingérence entrave à l'administration de la justice. Like that this is all highly relevant for case number two Et as well, not, not merely for case three and four. Dossier Both dossier Yubin Lang and Prak Kim Sun Yubin were Lang instrumental, Lang instrumental Lang Prak Kim Sun in the development and outcome of the judicial investigation in case 002. And the integrity of our case file, le, le, dans le the dossier foundation of this trial, du pénal, is highly suspect. The highly fundamental même de ce procès, nothing sound we maintain can arise from such unstable groundwork. If you read the note produced and published by the investigating judge, si lit la note du you can see that no organ in this court on peut voir. is immune from political meddling by the government. Que tous les organes sont touchés par l'ingérence no politique Cambodian du gouvernement. No Cambodian official at this court seems to have the courage Aucun or the room cambodien to maneuver independently, to go against the wishes, implicit or explicit, of the Cambodian government. And I'm afraid Cambodian. that this trial chamber is no exception to this rule. And this is a very troubling thought, not Et only for me, but also for my client. Pour moi, mais pour mon client. I would like to quote uh, Ou Virak, citer Ou Virak, president of the Cambodian Centre for Human Rights, on this Center particular for issue last week. Sur cette question la semaine dernière. And he says, Il if the government is willing to go to such lengths to block case it, cases, est prêt à aller it doesn't want to go ahead. Les How confident ne veut pas voir can we really be that it hasn't already determined the outcome in the cases that have been allowed to go ahead. Le résultat des dossiers en cours n'a pas déjà été déterminé, à savoir les dossiers 1 et 2. Well, the answer is that we have eh bien, very little confidence left. I don't have, to, I don't have to remind this court of Hun Sen's public statements about our client's guilt. And they are a clear, clear sign. Quant à la culpabilité de mon client. In any way, we maintain Ce sont des signes of where the government of Cambodia intends this case against my client to go. Uh, la décision we will file a motion, le gouvernement dans that is what I wanted to announce today, a motion voilà as soon as possible this week, nous we're currently working on une requête que nous rédigeons calling again nous allons déposer for the last time semaine, for an investigation into the political interference in this case on the basis of new evidence as presented by the international co-investigating judge. Sur la base de la note and we will also ask for a stay of the proceedings Nous un in order for you du and other people who are sorte. going to investigate this to carry out this investigation. Une de but la sadly, pour permettre I must say, la tenue de cette we do this knowing that our motion will be rejected again. Que nous reconnaissons que cette requête sera sûrement With three une fois national plus. judges in this trial chamber, juge cambodgien sur le we will never reach the required sur le majority, let alone supermajority. La majorité nécessaire, encore moins la supermajorité nécessaire. We do no longer expect anything from this court as a whole. Nous 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 attendons à plus rien du tout de ce tribunal. We are all of us ensemble. working in what is now. Nous travaillons tous aujourd'hui maintenant. In our opinion, a flawed institution. Dans ce qui est, selon nous, as we said last year already. Case 2 is not yet terminal, faillible. but in a very critical condition. Le I believe, dossier numéro deux n'est pas à l'arrêt de la mort, mais only one fois dans un état critique, that only the international judges et in this trial chamber, seul, les juges Judge Cartwright and Judge Lavagne, juges Cartwright can et save this case. Peuvent sauver le dossier deux. The only proper thing to do, in our opinion, la seule chose à faire, selon is nous, to finally dissent. Et de like the pre-trial chamber judges, show the Cambodian government, but also the Cambodian people, that there are certain boundaries that have to be respected in order for this trial not to turn into a complete shambles. Que ce procès devienne un échec. Every, day, every day you fail to act international judges, Juges internationaux. this trial will pas. spiral further and further away from the ideals the ECC was designed to promote. And there's much at stake, I don't have to remind you. Not only fair trial for our clients, the integrity of this tribunal as a whole, but also the personal and professional reputation 
of those internationals that preside over these proceedings. There comes a point where silence, inaction, and the deliberate avoidance of difficult decisions evolve into complicity. The si question we, which we will raise in our motion is vous évitez whether de you, des difficiles, il Judge Cartwright, complicité. and Judge Lavergne, whether you nous international judges donc, sincerely believe Lavergne, that this trial chamber will ever take que cette a decision de against the wishes of the Cambodian government? Are we looking forward to hearing your answer? We are looking forward to hearing your answer. Nous avons hâte d'entendre vos commentaires. Merci. Okay, no, no. La parole est au coprocureur international. Thank you, Your Honours. Um, Je vous remercie. I think we object to the, the appropriateness of, the, of those remarks. Nous nous um, opposons. Your Honours, in this case, Jugeons you've dealt with the issues of uh, uh, the un, any unfairness in this investigation. Dans ce dossier, um, you've, vous avez it's been dismissed. Um, as a toute preliminary question, motion, toute it's been dealt with by the pre-trial chamber. De, the issue that my friend is talking about is in relation to case files three and four, ce dont parle um, mon not, not this les case. Et et pas as your honours um, are aware, and the prosecution has the utmost of faith Comme vous le savez, that this trial chamber will be able to preside over this case to ensure the fairness of the trial. Uh, we would submit the, uh, the process that has uh, occurred to date has demonstrated that uh, the defence have had an opportunity to call for evidence, the defence have had an opportunity to present evidence. As you know, Your Honours, in this case, the defence have presented no documentary evidence apart from about six, six documents. Uh, the defence, when uh, asked whether they wish to question the accused on historical background, has questioned the accused for about half an hour. The the submission we submit, Your Honour, that was being put forward is, is not relevant. And secondly, if there are any issues that arise out of uh, any, any issues of, of unfairness that arise out of the investigation in case file two, if they are present, Your Honours have the ability and the power to, make, to ensure that uh, any aspect of that be sort of properly investigated. So we would submit that uh, the submission is not relevant to this case. And uh, we would ask that, um, uh, Your Honours, to continue, which you have been doing, to continue with presiding over this case in a fair manner and uh, as, as you have done in the past. Thank you. The president. Thank you, legal lawyer, for the civil party. You may now proceed. Oui, Monsieur le Président, Mesdames et Messieurs les juges, juste quelques observations. Non pas pour donner notre avis sur les dossiers 3 et 4, d'autant plus que je ne suis pas en charge de ces dossiers, mais quelles que soient les difficultés rencontrées, dans l'intérêt des parties civiles, il nous semble que tout amalgame entre les personnes de la Cour, entre elles, et toute distinction entre un côté national et un côté international qui serait établi de façon systématique nous apparaît comme regrettable. En ce qui nous concerne, nous nous en remettons, et nous n'avons pas d'autre choix d'ailleurs, à la Chambre de, de première instance, et nous considérons à ce stade que nous devons faire confiance à tous les magistrats de la Chambre et nous espérons bien sûr que notre confiance est bien placée et nous espérons bien sûr que tous les magistrats de la Chambre sauront rendre une décision équitable dans ce dossier numéro 2. Merci. Bonjour Monsieur le Président, bonjour euh, Mesdames, Messieurs du Tribunal. Je voudrais pour la défense de Kyo Sampan indiquer que euh, la défense de Monsieur Kyo Sampan a d'ores et déjà signé une lettre collective sollicitant qu'une enquête euh, soit menée sur les accusations qui ont été portées par le co-juge d'instruction euh, qui a rédigé 
la note dont mon confrère pour M. Nyon Chea vient de parler, que, contrairement à ce que dit M. le procureur, eh bien, il semble que les éléments qui ont été apportés par le co-juge d'instruction qui a décidé de faire ces révélations sont des éléments tout à fait nouveaux. Ce sont des révélations. Et euh, cela new. signifie que votre These chambre n'en avait pas forcément connaissance au moment où des décisions antérieures ont pu être rendues sur la validité, par exemple, des actes qui avaient été réalisés par les organes d'enquête du tribunal. Uh, et c'est la raison pour laquelle ces révélations, euh, parce qu'elles sont des révélations, paraissent effectivement justifier des mesures d'enquête euh, sur ces éléments nouveaux. Donc, euh, souhaiter, comme vient de le faire la partie civile, euh, rappeler tout l'espoir qu'ils ont euh, dans le fait que euh, vous rendrez justice, euh, c'est formidable. Euh, mais ça n'est que vœux pieux. Euh, penser, comme euh, monsieur le procureur a l'air de le penser, que le nuage de radiation de Tchernobyl s'est arrêté à la frontière, euh, c'est aussi un vœu pieux. Euh, je crois que si les révélations qui ont été faites par le juge Casper euh, sont exactes, eh bien, il est évident que euh, les dommages ne se sont pas limités euh, aux affaires 3 et 4, et c'est en cela que euh, ces révélations justifie qu'une enquête soit réalisée dans les plus brefs délais sur les pressions qui sont faites par le pouvoir cambodgien sur notre juridiction, bien notre juridiction. En ce sens, la défense de M. Pieux-Champan s'associe bien évidemment à cette demande d'enquête et cela paraît également assez logique à la demande en cours de préparation dont a parlé mon confrère d'une suspension des audiences dans l'attente du résultat de cette enquête tant il est certain et évident que si pression il y a, eh bien elles ne se seront pas arrêtées au dossier 3 et 4 par un effet magique. Elles auront entaché la totalité du travail qui est celui de ces juridictions, peut-être depuis sa création. C'est ce qu'il convient de cacher. Comment. Uh, we would like now to proceed then to the international co-prosecutor yeah. to la pose further questions to the witness. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, thank le you, Your Honours. Mr. Kangak, uh, before we broke for lunch, we discussed the issue of uh, discipline Avant la pause des of party members. Nous de la discipline du parti. When we look at the issue in relation to discipline of party members, the obligations and the duties of party members parti, to les promote uh, the party line and stance, when we look de, de at the parti, criteria required for a party member to join the party, and we look at parti, the monitoring role that the party has for each and every member to ensure that et le rôle they have clean histories, clean biographies in the eyes of the party. Would it be fair to say de parti, uh, that there was an atmosphere of fear that uh, surrounded uh, being, uh, being a member of the party during that time between 1975 and 1979? Response. It is fair to say so. Oui, je crois qu'il est juste de le dire.
Perhaps if we now look at um, a document, and it's IS 19.157, if that can be placed on the screen, and if we can show a hard copy uh, to the witness, please. The President, uh, court officer, is now instructed to hand over the document uh, to the witness. À lui c'est d'audience de remettre une copie du document au témoin. Thank you, le procureur. Witness, as you as you look at this document, you referred earlier to the practice of uh, CPK members having to de la pratique write down their personal histories so du parti um, it can be recorded and passed up uh, through the chain of command as to their background to ensure that the hiérarchie. background of each party member was of, ce, of a type or of a quality that was acceptable to the party. Pour au parti if you look at that document and perhaps if I just mention the name, at the top you'll see Rus M, Rus M. Rus M. And if you look further back down the document, it states that Rus M was a messenger at S21. Can you look at the document and advise the court whether or not that's the type of document that you were talking about et dire à la cour si relating to the writing du type of life histories ou d'histoire d'antécédents de vie dont vous aviez parlé tout à l'heure pour certains individus. L'interprète signale que le document est 19.157 du réquisitoire introductif. And perhaps, uh, Mr. Kangupu, if I can draw your attention to at the end of the document, and it relates to a page that says close friends and circles, and it's entitled Affiliations Outside the Revolutionary Organization, and it presents a, a chronology of the political activity from uh, this person's childhood. And then if you look at the last two entries, 5th of July 1976 and July 1977, can you advise the court whether or not this person first is familiar to you? And secondly, if this type of document is one in which you've seen before and also, ressemble à d'autres que vous avez déjà vu. What, how this document was produced. Et si vous pouvez nous expliquer so. comment ce document a été rédigé, si vous êtes bien sûr en mesure de le faire. Response. This document belongs to S21. Comrade M was my combatant. He worked at M13 before. This form of life history is the same to other form of life history. And this was done because I would ask my combatants to write their own life histories and then keep them. 
And after each session, annually, each every uh, staff had to fill in these forms and had it presented so that other people could uh, also have a say. Et le présenter pour que d'autres puissent leur en parler. And so we can understand the uh, the nature of the practice, how widespread it was. Question. About how many staff did you have at S21? Combien de personnel aviez-vous à S21? Response. Réponse. I don't think I fully grasp this. In case file 001, I guess there question. are some documents and the list of staff members at the S21. Document dans le dossier 1 et la you liste may du personnel. refer to them, please. Perhaps then we'll ask about the practice of, of making these biographies. Once, once they were made, uh, where were they sent? Who were they given given to? De biographie. Une fois que ces biographies avaient été préparées, à qui étaient-elles envoyées? À qui étaient-elles remises? Qui, qui peut dire? Réponse. Pour votre groupe, je ne sais pas. Réponse. Biography. I saw it belonged to M, who was de la a de normal M. popular mass. His biography would only be kept at S21. Qui émanait de la masse populaire et um, ce genre de document aurait été conservé à And was M was he a party member? Était-il membre du parti? Mahajan. Uh, réponse. Uh, he was the ordinary combatant. C'était un combattant ordinaire. I introduced him uh, in early 1974 or late 1973 and uh, he was first introduced to work in M13 fait pour la fois en did he become a party 74 quand il est venu travailler à M13 question est-il devenu membre du PCK answer réponse uh, no he did not no. until 1970 at the top of the biography, it Question. states the revolutionary oh, name and it provides the same name as uh, Rus M. Or, le nom est le a revolutionary, revolutionary name, was that given M. only to party members or was it giving, given to um, anyone parti, working for the party? Bien à quiconque travaillait pour le parti. Answer. Before 1975, particularly before 1970, progressive members had their underground name or revolutionary name. Les membres progressistes For example, myself, Kang Pei Yu, my official name, but in my revolution exemple, name was Deutsch, and I have Iu, been known as Deutsch Duc. ever since. And following je suis connu 1971, it appears the, um, the Rus M had filled out certain parts, and the first part seems to relate to Rus M himself, and the second part relates to uh, details about his wife or husband, if any, and the third part in relation to the biology of the children, fourth part in relation to uh, the parents, the fifth part in relation to parents-in-law, the sixth part in relation to biological siblings, 
the seventh part in relation to close friends and circles, affiliations outside the revolutionary organization. And in each of those parts, or most of those parts, questions such as um, what class were people from and what political associations did people have and what education did people have appear in a number of those parts. My question is, why do these forms, or why does this form ask so many questions of, uh, of an individual sur euh, une même personne. You are referring to individual as parents or as biological siblings. But we, actually in this, we refer to those who had some political influence en fait, on individuals. Um, just the question I have is, question. why is so much information Pourquoi obtained from a staff member at S21? On tellement d'informations de la part d'un employé de S21. What was the purpose of this, Pourquoi? of these forms? À quoi what was the purpose of asking formulaire? all of these questions Pourquoi about the political class and educational background of one of the staff members at S21? Des employés de S21. Why was it done? Answer. To my recollection, the form was not actually established in the first place by S21, even uh, when Nat was the uh, chief of S21. But uh, this form uh, ha had been uh, revised uh, several times since 1971. So this was not the only form, but uh, it has gone through uh, several rounds of revisions in order to uh, extract detailed information from prisoners, and that would amount to a frank report to the upper echelon about the uh, backgrounds of individuals. Uh, this this form or this information from Rousem. Was he a prisoner or was, was he a staff member? Ross M. était un prisonnier ou un membre du personnel? Answer. He was my uh, combatant. Uh, I actually introduced him. Uh, I took him out of the jungle and I introduced him to M13. Actually, the, the prisoners had uh, different forms uh, when uh, he or she was interrogated, but this is for uh, combatants. And to your knowledge, were these forms distributed to other units and other departments for other staff members to fill in? Membres du personnel les remplissent. Some. S21 uh, did not circulate this uh, outside S21. S21. We uh, used it for internal purpose. But as I said, uh, this form was originated uh, from 1971, dit, and it had gone through several rounds of revisions in order to make it complete and comprehensive. Afin de le rendre plus exhaustif. Do you know Question. where you received copies of these forms from? to use at S21? Do you know where they came from, who gave them to, to you at S21 or staff at S21? S21.
chairman of M30, I used uh, this form as well, but this form was not that comprehensive. But when I came to S21, uh, this uh, form was left uh, to me uh, from NAT, uh, but as I said, uh, it was a working document, so it uh, continued to uh, develop to uh, be more comprehensive. And as for the forms uh, left at S21 when I came there, uh, it was left for me from Nat. C'est Nat qui les a laissés derrière lui, et c'est moi qui les ai repris en arrivant. Thank you. If I can turn Question. your attention to another document, Je it's D108 slash 7.7, and we have a hard copy, which Nous if I can ask the, uh, the graphier if he could uh, que le pass to the witness. D108 slash 7.7. Mr. Kangaroo, if you could Monsieur look at that Kang document, particularly the first page, en particulier la and look page. to see who signed that first page and the date, nous dire qui a signé ce and then document. If you can look again date, at the following pages, aussi la page suivante, particularly um, at the bottom of each uh, block of text le bas de and the dates, de texte, ainsi que les dates. and then I will ask you a few questions ensuite, about the document. À vous poser sur ce document. Answer. Uh, thank you. But before answering the question put by the prosecution, I would like to make a general observation. Mr. Prosecutor asked me why I uh, had known uh, that people had been evacuated to different uh, directions across the country. This is one of the evidence which indicated that NAS uh, went along National Road Number uh, 6 and then he encountered with Kiem Tort and Ngoiva somewhere in uh, Skun uh, Market. And then when he came back, he uh, uh, order me to uh, conduct a further investigation and research in order that uh, those people uh, be arrested. So uh, people left the city from different directions, but these individuals uh, in this uh, document uh, went uh, to somewhere around Skun. And brother so 03, was actually not a uh, code en fait, number. Uh, it was the actually the serial number indicating code. division 703. Cela so Nat was sometimes known as Sam. The people call him on parfois Nat, Nat, on but uh, aussi his Nat, official name was Numlon. En fait, and and on this very page, uh, 458, uh, you see the signature uh, Deutsch. And I acted at the order of NAT. Thank you. And uh, the International Council for Injury, you may proceed. Good afternoon, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Your Honors. Good afternoon to everyone in the courtroom. I would most appreciate it, Your Honors, uh, if you could uh, instruct the witnesses to answer the questions. Uh, uh, we have some very talented uh, prosecutors, uh, especially Mr. Smith conducting the examination. Mr. Smith wishes further clarification. Si he can do so. Smith veut des He's quite able. Uh, it's very difficult for me to know what the gentleman will say in advance and object. Dira when he begins by saying, well, let me le témoin, offer you some observations dit first veut faire about des observations something may be interesting to him, sur des choses but not qui peuvent être intéressantes pour lui, mais qui sont sans rapport so avec le présent dossier. 
Le témoin devrait donc répondre directement aux questions et l'accusation ou la partie qui interroge le témoin peut, le cas échéant, demander un compliment d'explication. L'accusation. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Je comprends la position de mon confrère. Parfois, le témoin répond à la question en partant du point de vue que tout le monde comprend le contexte dans lequel s'inscrit le document, parce que lui-même le connaît bien. Et il y allait, bien sûr, avoir des questions de suivi pour préciser la nature du document. Parfois, les témoins ont du mal à répondre directement à une question. Quoi qu'il en soit, je veillerai à ce que les choses se fassent de la façon la plus précise possible. Monsieur Kangekou, vous avez le document sous les yeux, mais beaucoup d'autres gens ne l'ont pas. If I can just summarize briefly, it's a document that's signed by you, and it's sent. To respected brother zero three, who you've just testified was Matt, and you've just testified it relates to an investigation of two individuals. Now, the reason why this document has been put before you is because you've testified earlier about you know the obligations of party members to ensure that. Other members or juniors or people subordinated to them have clean biographies, have clean party histories, and so when you look at this document, you'll see that it's a very important document. 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 It's a very important Was this investigation carried out? Pourquoi est-ce que cette enquête a été menée? Bon, quoi donc, Pini? Answer: The two individuals had not been arrested, but Nat indicated he wanted them. Arrested. A dit qu'il voulait les faire arrêter. Because these individuals falsified their biographies, that they were workers, and not found them in Belchum village near Skun Market, a Jung Prey district. So he learned that, and he wanted them arrested, and he ordered me that I prepare a letter so that it formed the basis for the arrest. So we conducted aux arrestations. Investigation of Une enquête C. a donc eu lieu. Kazi. And we found uh, these four individuals in Pralchum village. village de Pralchum. And then that Ensuite, corrected it on page 5. But actually, it was on page uh, 462 he en fait, made correction à la page 462 there, and then uh, eventually he decided to choose one formula, il a uh, page un 461, la page and he hand wrote it. We il a uh, écrit cela à la main. revise a document against uh, communism, and we found those individuals. Et il a indiqué que les individus en question avaient été retrouvés. Ensuite, il y a une signature et une date, 31 novembre. Actually, it was not on that day, but I actually testified before the Office of Co-Investigating Judges already, but these four individuals had not been arrested yet, but Nat wanted them arrested, and this document actually was not released from Nat. S21, and I did not know what happened. I did not know whether or not the arrest materialized. Thank you. And just so we're clear, the purpose of these questions are to 
understand more clearly Mes questions the visent à practices of investigating individuals or party members um, and parties, how that information was recorded. Et de mieux comprendre so comment les informations recueillies étaient consignées. How was it that Nat received the biographies of these two individuals if they weren't uh, detained at S21? How did he receive those biographies to, to ask you to investigate them? Well, I was detained in Answer. Réponse. First, I would like to clarify a bit. Premièrement, when je voudrais talk apporter quelques précisions. Members, uh, actually, these Lorsqu four individuals were members. Lorsqu'on parle de membres du parti, en fait, ces quatre members. personnes n'étaient pas des membres du parti. C'était des fonctionnaires. Kim Todd. Used to be the uh, school director of uh, Kompong Tong High School. Au lycée Nat de Kompong Tong. used to be Nat the avait director été of the director electricity station in Kompong Tong province. Centrale Kim Thot dans la province de Kompong Tong had a reactionary uh, attitude against a uh, progressive individual. So Nat uh, knew Kim Thot very Nat well. Nat connaissait bien Kim Thot. And Tat Bundin was also there as well. That's why Nat knew additional information from this individual. Nova and So Kapun. Nova and So Kapun. These two names. Son deux autres noms were found in the uh, documents associating with the, the use against uh, Indo-Chinese uh, communists, uh, known as association avec G les Yun dans le cadre de la Fédération communiste indochinoise. They could locate these documents, Ces and then uh, there was also a report to the upper echelon as well, and that's why uh, Nat was uh, supervising the city forces as well, and Nat himself uh, found these four individuals in Prangchung village as well. That's why Nat wanted these four individuals arrested in accordance with the party's policy immediately after the 17th of April 1975. And once again, what I would like to highlight, uh, emphasize is that uh, these four individuals were not the party members, but they were civil servants uh, from the London administration. Thank you. So, so we can understand clearly um, this shows is an example of a, a party member, Nat, exercising his party responsibilities to investigate uh, anyone that he believes was opposed to the party line des personnes or opposed to the revolution. Lui, Is that what this document à la ligne du shows? Parti ou à la révolution? Est-ce que c'est bien là ce que montre ce document? Oh, Answer. That, that is correct. Réponse. Uh, Effectivement. Soon after 1975, uh, Nat had that responsibility. He had to. Uh, a assumé des responsabilités. Uh, for, uh, those individuals who il a dû were suspected and rechercher he went there himself des suspects. Or he assigned or il se rendait lui-même uh, sur place où uh, il envoyait des subordonnés. Mond, uh, to do that. En l'occurrence, les mondes. J'ai quatre ou cinq questions uh, brèves à poser about the biography au sujet de la biographie. And, oh, about the investigation that you conducted, Et à and the first one is, que vous avez mené. you state at the top, en haut, Kim Tort and Yovva falsified, falsified their biographies by stating they were workers. En se comme that was des the ouvriers. conclusion you drew la conclusion after your investigation as to their background. Is that correct? Sur leur parcours, n'est-ce pas? Be Answer. Réponse. 
the term falsify their biographies by stating that they were workers. I wrote it. Uh, I wrote uh, this word Simon at the behest of Nat at that time, because uh, Nat went down to that village Je and he found Sokapun. And you refer Question. Um, in relation to Kim taught Concernant that his father Kim was an upper middle class peasant un and his father-in-law was a feudal landlord. Un was that a significant feudal. fact to write? That was a fact that was important that it should be written by Answer, that's Réponse. correct. Effectivement. And how would those facts Question. have been viewed to, uh, to Nat? Et de quelle façon est-ce que those Nat characteristics, how are they viewed? a Good characteristics perçu ces faits et ces caractéristiques bad de façon positive ou négative Answer. I did not know how they view it, but I only knew that uh, I wrote this at the behest of Nat, uh, and uh, it was revised several times in order to justify our arrest of these four individuals. And I also note in record that um, he signed a, a petition re aussi requesting Sihanouk government to destroy the three progressive individuals. He opposed the revolutionary movement. He started his career in Camp Tom. Were these facts uh, true or were they made up? But what answer? The biography of Kim Tot was not uh, Kim secret, Tort and Kim Tot uh, prepared or signed a, a petition, a secret a petition uh, for the arrest of Kyu Sampon. Demandant l'arrestation de Kyu Sampon. Also, in relation to Niel Var. It was reported by informants um, that he had frequently visited the houses of Long Nol, Boret, and Pan Sarai. Was that fact, well firstly, who were those three people, and secondly, was that a negative fact to be placed on, um, to be placed against Nyovva personal history? devait être mis à charge de Ngovva et de son parcours personnel. Oh, oh. Answer. Thank you. Before answering Réponse. this question, I would like to uh, Tout correct uh, one word. Je voudrais apporter un rectificatif. Uh, the, uh, there was a spelling mistake, uh, mistake uh, there, I think it's a typo. Uh, it was the uh, city en fait, members, il and they provided secret information uh, to Son Sen that uh, Ngova uh, had frequently visited the houses of Lon Nol, Boret. Uh, and Lon Nol, I think uh, the prosecution must have known uh, them. He was the big brother of the uh, Khmer Republic. Lon Boret was the former prime minister, the, actually the last prime minister of Lon Nol's administration. As for Pan Soti, Pan Soti, he is one of the intellectuals. Un des intellectuals. I did not know what uh, his portfolio was, but uh, he visited the United Nations once. Il 
and he was uh, recognized uh, as a, a rhetorical spoke uh, a person. Uh, he was bright, and everyone knew that uh, he was a very bright intellectual Et in the Lanol administration. Uh, that was the information Lannol. of the underground voilà forces of the Communist Party of Kampuchea reported to Nat and Son Sen respectively. Thank you. And this report uh, was forwarded to Nat and at the base of the report you recommend, you state, arrest or not, it depends on your analysis and decision. Is that correct? Got the same response. He just asked me to dictate what he supposed uh, to uh, write uh, so I de lui said uh, that uh, whether you wanted to arrest uh, the person or not it was up to you de voir so ou non ces I was just writing what he asked me to write but when it comes to the arrest I said it's up to him écrit ce qu'il m'a demandé d'écrire Quant aux arrestations, c'était à lui d'en décider. And um, I think you said you're not sure whether these individuals were ever arrested or not. Savoir exactement si ces gens ont été arrêtés. Est-ce exact? Comme ça, mon Dieu. Response. Réponse. I had never seen these four individuals at S21 or had no knowledge of having seen any names S21. Uh, relevant to these people in the list of uh, the de S21 dans la liste prisoners des prisoniers de S21. because I had known Kim Tot or and Tap Bundin, Je connaissais Kim Tot but I never happened to see them Mais or and one final question in the uh, paragraph relating to Kim Tort it states Kim that um, il est indiqué signed a petition requesting Sihanouk government to destroy the three progressive individuals who were those three progressive individuals that you were referring to Response. Response. I went to the pedagogical school later than Kim Thot, and it was not a secret because Kim Thot wrote Kim a petition um, asking that Kim Sung Pond be arrested. And those de people, Paul, I think Kim Sung Pond is here, Je number two, Hu Yun, and number le three, Hu Nim. Right, thank you very much. Now we'll move off the document Question. and move to um, another topic that relates to what we've just been discussing. En rapport avec ce and it dont relates nous to um, the idea of the reporting, Il the rules of reporting des within the CPK. If we look at Article 6 PCK, of the statute, six du statut, it's du parti, entitled organization principles of the party and then if we look at article 6.5 it states at the de designated times the lower echelon must report to upper echelon on the situation and on work done when we look at how communication was conducted uh, in the democratic Kampuchea period. Is it correct to say that that's how that was one of the obligations that the lower echelon must report to the upper echelon 
les choix à faire pour faire and prendre des choses done. supérieures sur la situation et la performance des tâches. Response. Could you please refer to the chapter and exact uh, page reference, please? Perhaps if um, it's, it's article uh, 6.5 in chapter 3, on page 30 of the Khmer copy. But whilst you're doing that, perhaps, Mr. President, if it's nearly five minutes to the break, um, and I have a, just a brief uh, application to make. Um, up until this, up until today, or up until now, uh, the prosecution, I believe, last week, has used about seven and a half hours of uh, questioning time of this witness. Um, although it was over a um, a two-day and a bit period, in fact, um, the time the time the prosecution I've been inf informed has used has been seven and a half hours up until uh, this morning. At the end of the day, Your Honours, um, the prosecution would have used about five and a, uh, another five hours, which would be twelve and a half hours. Your Honours, we've asked um, to be able to question this uh, witness for five days. Um, he has a lot of um, important information. Um, now we're moving into a discussion on communication, uh, how, how, the, um, how the CPK communicated, particularly uh, in relation to uh, how communication occurred within S21 and how communication occurred outside of S21 to gain an understanding of the communication structures. And then we plan to move to uh, the particular um, CPK entities, uh, witnesses mentioned them, uh, the Central Committee, uh, ministries, and then after that we would pr proceed um, to discuss discussing the roles of the Après accused, quoi, nous more particularly, des accusés, um, despite the fact much has been discussed today. En détail. En plus we de feel that um, we would use we would use the five days fully uh, to be able to do this. We plan on that basis. Nous avons prévu uh, we've de been faire advised that uh, that's uh, there's no objection to that. Et so. On the, on the rate that we're going, cela, on, as we would ask that um, donc, the prosecution be able to continue questioning uh, at least until Thursday lunchtime, and assuming no breaks or midi, significant um, debates or submissions that take away from that questioning time, that, um, that um, the, the prosecution finish um, around donc, Thursday lunchtime, just so that uh, we can plan uh, the length of questioning midi. Um, on each of the different Et topics, and uh, we plan to move through all of the topics in the indictment, and uh, we plan to move uh, through them efficiently, uh, but we would ask if uh, you want to provide, I mean, some indication possibly after the break for planning purposes uh, of whether that would be acceptable. But certainly to Thursday at lunchtime, on our calculation, um, would be about the time that we asked for, bearing in mind all of the breaks and, and, and large slabs of time that uh, were caught up in other debates. And I believe um, the civil parties have a, a short um, application to make uh, following mine, but it would be helpful um, to, to have your honest, uh, understanding on that for planning purposes um, after, after the break, break if possible. Donc, si but um, perhaps if can I hand over the floor to the, the civil party je, je lawyers la uh, for them to la just briefly make their submission or pour, uh, uh, alternatively I, I can continue questioning. Où, où je peux poursuivre Thank you, Mr. The President, Judge Cartwright, you may proceed. Uh, thank you, President. Just uh, one Madame question by way of clarification, uh, Mr. Smith. Uh, you have specified which topics you will be questioning on for, we hope, the rest of the, most of the rest of this week. But you also said you plan to cover all topics in the indictment. Uh, now, I'm assuming that you don't mean that literally, that you mean this trial only and the subjects that are under consideration presently, which are the, um, uh, 
the ones that you've spe specified, communication, uh, CPK entities, roles of the accused. That's correct, Your Honours. I misspoke. I think if, if the other was the case, we would be asking for about uh, two or three weeks. Yes, that's correct. Thank you. The President, the Council President. for Civil Party. La parole est yes, good, uh, good afternoon, Your Honours. If it pleases the Court, the Civil Parties would like to take the opportunity to make a similar procedural and trial management request. The civil parties had previously indicated to the, to the senior legal officer, I believe, that uh, the, the request oui, nous avons for une the timing in, in, in which to examine Mr. Gangek Il was three hours. Trois um, we are de Il. now in a position to say that we would request more time than three hours. De plus de this is because the witness is very clearly Car Someone who has a tendency to give a very detailed response. Très this fact should be taken into account when considering the amount of time to delegate to parties for questioning. And uh, for it is a rare event for us to have such a witness who has uh, the internal knowledge that Mr. Kangek Il has, as well as being one who is very articulate. And the civil parties would like to use that Et opportunity and to make use occasion, of the qualities of this witness to uh, touch upon a number of topics of which the civil parties are concerned. We do reiterate also that in accordance with Internal Rule 23, the role of civil parties in these proceedings is twofold. Firstly, we have a mandate to participate in criminal proceedings against those responsible for crimes within the jurisdiction of the ECC by supporting the prosecution. And secondly, it is to seek moral and collective reparation for harm de réparation collective et morale The topics to be examined will therefore be matters upon which the civil parties are concerned and may flow on from matters sujets. which the prosecution has put to the witness regarding the communication and administrative uh, structures, which in our view might require a follow-up uh, questioning for a more complete response. Um, to assist Your Honours to de plus determine de temps whether or not to grant us more time to question the witness, de I can indicate the questioning will revolve around a few key topics related to communication channels and administrative structures that may contribute to establishing, one, the responsibility of Ying Sari concerning victims at S21 who were called to return from overseas and prisoners at S21 who were taken from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, two, the capture of foreign nationals off the coast of Cambodia and the communication channels related to their transfer to S21, and in particular, which might draw some light on Mr. Nguyen Chia's role in this chain of command. Three, the policy and chain of command concerning the use of confessions in this chain of command. Three, the policy and chain of command concerning the use of confessions by Vietnamese nationals or individuals of Vietnamese ethnicity at its S21, including the directives and policies related to that, and for the communication channels through letters through the division chiefs concerning prisoners at S21. The allocation of times for questioning is obviously a matter for your honours uh, to consider de in, in light of trial management pour and pour uh, les we ask that you do take into account the significance de tenir of the evidence that Mr. Kangek-Iu is Kang able to bring light on to the civil parties. Thank you for the question of the civil parties. Thank you. President. Times have already been allotted and counsel uh, uh, would have three hours. Now you ask that uh, these three hours be uh, added. So how much time would you wish to ask for? Your Honours, at this stage, um, I can indicate Je that dire we would ideally require up to one day, but it is a matter in your journée, discretion, and we would be happy de if you could allocate us anything up to one day. Tout durée allant jusqu'à une journée d'interrogatoire serait très apprécié des parties civiles. Le président. The president. Je vous remercie beaucoup. Thank you for the request. The chamber will rule on this. Décidera. 
Security guard is now de sécurité to take, uh, the de sécurité doit maintenant to raccompagner le témoin à sa date to the courtroom before we resume the next session avant la reprise de